Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's DIY video, we're going to be replacing the final stage unit or blower resistor on a later model BMW. This would be many of the models from the mid to late 90s through the mid to late 2000s. The final stage unit controls the heat and AC blower speed. If you're having problems with your heat AC blower motor controlling the speed, it won't work at all, or in some cases won't shut off at all, consider the final stage unit. We're going to be doing this replacement on an X5, but the other applicable models will be very similar and the location is very similar as well. The Bentley repair manual will give details on the various different models. Now you can get your final stage unit as well as the Bentley repair manual in our online store at bavauto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002. They can also help you determine if a final stage unit is what you need. Now let's get to it. Here we are at the vehicle, ready to replace the blower motor final stage unit. Note that we have the seat removed for camera and lights. This is not necessary for replacement of the final stage unit. In order to access the final stage unit, we'll remove the console side panel, the forward under dash panel, and the glove box. The final stage unit lives up there, above and to the left of the passenger's left foot. We first remove the forward trim panel by removing the three fasteners. Remove the two quarter turn fasteners. Remove the Phillips head screw. Pull the panel down and out. Note the tabs in the front of the panel that engage in the slots at the bottom of the module holder. Disconnect the courtesy light wiring harness. The glove box door opening is limited by the damper on the left and a rubber buffer on the right. We'll now disconnect the glove box damper arm by prying out the securing pin. Pry the pin with a flathead screwdriver, then pull it out of the end of the damper arm. Release the stop buffer by pushing the right side of the glove box door to the left so that the buffer clears the glove box frame. We're now ready to remove the complete glove box assembly which is secured by six Phillips head screws. Pull down the right side of the glove box light in order to remove it from the frame. Disconnect the wiring harness plug. Pull the glove box assembly out and downward to dislodge it from the dash. Note the three forward carrier brackets so that you can line them up during reassembly. This is the glove box light harness plug, and this is the forward courtesy light plug. We'll now remove the footwell air duct. Note the duct locking tab and the hanger clip. Removal of the console side trim is next. The final stage unit is up in here. The panel is secured by clips and a screw here, which is missing on this vehicle. Pull the panel out from the console and forward to dislodge the rear tab. Here's the rear tab and the securing clips. They work just like door panel clips. Disconnect the wire harness plug from the accessory power outlet. Okay, here's the final stage unit. The unit is secured into the HVAC box by a clip at the bottom. Disconnect the wiring harness plug by pinching the two securing tabs and pulling the plug from the final stage unit. To remove the final stage unit, push the clip down and pull the unit out.
the securing clip latches to the final stage unit along the bottom edge here. This is the clip. To install the new unit, slide it into the mounting hole and push fully in so that the securing clip fully latches onto the unit's bottom edge. Connect the wiring harness plug. Once the new final stage unit is installed, reassemble all the console side trim, glove box, and forward trim panel parts. Okay, now that you've seen how easy that procedure is, you can take care of your own final stage unit and get control of your blower motor. You can order your final stage unit in our online store at bavauto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002. Don't forget to get the Bentley Repair Manual for your specific chassis as well. Now, if you've liked this video, please hit your like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Now, we're off to make another DIY video.